Hey guys, it's me Ellie, your looks from the crypt. Today we're just doing a little haul video. I went on a trip over this weekend just to just go to a show and like see some friends, yada yada yada. So naturally I took this opportunity to stop by a couple FYEs, a half price books. We do have an FYE here in Eugene, however it fucking sucks. It's one of those ones that's just like a, a Funko Pop and like March Clutch Bolster, which is totally cool, but at the same time it kind of is a bummer when just an hour away in Salem we have an FYE that's like a huge ass store that has a giant used movie selection whereas the one here they just have a really small selection that's already maybe like a hundred movies or so and if they do they also have like a like a shout slash scream factory section that's all like new releases for like 40 bucks which I'm something generally speaking I'm not trying to do I'm just gonna show you guys what I bought on my trip, grab a snack, and keep on watching. Real hot girl shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, F-Y-E-D-D ASMR. I hope you're getting brain tingles from hearing the bag crinkle and the sound of the disc rattling inside. So I'm going to be doing this haul video in like no particular order. I'm just going to be doing this just as the order I grab them. I just took everything out of the bag and put them in a stack next to me. So that'll be the order in which I'll be talking about each movie I bought. First up, we have here The Possession of Michael King. I have actually watched this movie. I think it's on Tubi right now. It's only, It was only five bucks. Well, that's the thing about FIE that's awesome is that they have like a, you see like a buy two, get one free deal on the used uh, movies. This movie, I thought was pretty okay. I had already seen it on Tubi. It's a found footage, like horror paranormal movie. I, for the most part, enjoyed it. They do break like found footage rules, which I wasn't a fan of, but all in all, it was pretty decent and worth owning for like five bucks. If you're subscribed to my YouTube channel or watch my videos or follow me on social media, which is all down below, you already know about this one. I picked up a copy of Unearthed Films, release of a Serbian film. I'd already, I'd been seeing people actually post about finding this at FYEs in like our disturbing movie. So I was going to be kind of disappointed if I didn't find it. I actually, okay, I watched this movie forever ago when it was uploaded to YouTube, which is fucking crazy. I don't know. I just missed when like the internet was the wild west like that. You could just do fucking whatever. It was just like anything goes place where it, it heavily is not anymore. Uh, basically, we all know a Serbian film. This is probably like, the most notable uh, disturbing or extreme movie. Like people who aren't even immersed in the genre have heard about this one. I just got it mostly for a collection piece. Yeah, I That's a part of this whole thing. Why I'm buying all this fucking physical media is I am a collector. So I just needed to own this bad boy for my collection. That is one actually I found in my hotel room haunted at 3am. Just kidding. Uh, a bunch of people were really butthurt thinking I was trying to say that was like real when I felt like it was obviously like funny. Um, clearly just some people completely missed the joke and went over their heads. Next we have here is Sick and the Dead. This is a Burning Moon movie which is uh, I collect their tapes. Um, they're just a really low budget like production company. This is like a zombie movie. To be honest at first when I, when I first saw this I didn't realize it was Burning Moon. I just saw that fucking cover. I'm always like drawn to shit that looks like complete bullshit like this so naturally I had the desire to grab it before even realizing what it was. Now we have the Teresa. Just look at that fucking art. Just pure early 2000s goodness right there. 
The back looks pretty awesome. Their tagline is literally better and scarier film than Hostel, which I fuck with. I, honestly, I got this because recently, like, my partner was talking to me about this movie and I had never seen it. So I figured this would be a figure, perfect opportunity to pick it up and to check it out. This is the Paranormal Diaries Clop Hill, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. The cover is pretty meh. Um, however, I got this one. For the images on the back, I hope you can see that. <laughs> yeah, so basically I just love found footage movies. It's kind of one of my go-to genres. So I picked it up as just a paranormal found footage, like possession kind of film. So naturally I was like, oh, fuck it, why not? Yet another paranormal found footage movie. This one's called The Paranormal Entity. And again, found footage. The back images look pretty dope. Figured why not for cheap. This movie's called Red Lips Eat the Living or some bullshit like that. God gives well, I mean, that cover looks pretty fucking sick. It's like a zombie movie of some sort. I don't really know a whole lot about it. Uh, if I remember correctly, my partner was saying that this movie's like super expensive on VHS or some shit like that. So gotta just be able to watch it and own it on some capacity since the tape is rare i guess okay this one was pretty exciting for me too it's called score the scorned watch your favorite reality stars die and if you know me in real life you know i fucking live for like some like busted ass like reality tv so this was a natural choice i mean just look at that shit one by one all the members of this like reality show die and that sounds pretty fucking dope if you ask me. This movie is Edward Lee's header. Uh, I got this because, well, that cover drew me in in addition to it's just like a random Synapse Films movie. So I was like, fuck it, why not? It's like some sort of like backwoods, like slasher type vibe, which is always a good time. As you guys will like learn with like the more movies I review slash like any other haul video I do, it's just, I'm just picking shit up based on if it has a good price and is interesting enough for me to jump into this without knowing what the fuck it is like for example my partner and i we go like dollar tree hunting we go to like all the dollar trees when they have movies and just get any random shit that like looks interesting and sometimes we get some cool stuff like we got like the sacrament and like spree there for example i picked up a bunch of other like random bullshit just because the cover was alluring and it had a good price. This movie is called Vlog. This was actually on my radar already of something I wanted to watch. It's notably like, from my understanding, it's like somewhat of like an extreme horror film or at least like noted by that community. Uh, it's about like a cam girl who dies and then it like documents her murder and everything leading up to it and like seeing, you know, her loved ones be tortured by like some crazy cyber stalker. And from my understanding, everything takes place from a computer screen. So I had to pick it up just because it was something that I was already familiar with. That I had been wanting to watch and knowing that's in the more extreme category, which is another thing that I kind of like to look out for. This movie, if I'm being completely transparent, I have no idea what the fuck it is. It is called Woods of Evil. Unrated Director's Cut. Sorry, I, was, I thought that was going to be like a subtitle, but that was just the Unrated Director's Cut why I couldn't tell you but this cover just sat with me I was like I should fucking buy this for like absolutely no reason and I did uh basically it's just some sort of like kidnapping movie in like a secluded cabin in the woods kind of vibe no real reason why I got this other than just look at it just look them why don't you look at that yeah look at, look at that look at that from behind look at that you can't do oh uh, look at that look at that yeah, Look see, at that. And if you tell that to the cops, that. they're not going to give you any... Con Funny enough, my partner was literally just talking about this movie, Stay Alive, starring Frankie Muniz. Like, movie where if you die in the video game, you die in real life. We were literally just talking about this shit, so obviously had to grab it. This movie's fucking hilarious and super awesome. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend if you're just trying to look for, like, some goofy-ass, like, mid-2000s vibes. Next, we have this movie called Devour. Just look at that, that cover. Uh, this one I know is super rare on VHS. It's some kind of like thriller involving the internet, which I'm like a fucking sucker for movies like involving the internet. Why? I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, fuck, I gotta watch that. Well, just look at the fucking back. Like, look at that guy. 
that was a big selling point for me was that picture. So yeah, I picked this up based on the cover alone, the fact that it pertains to the internet and that the tape is rare. Next we have is The Last Exorcism, which is just your regular run-of-the-mill paranormal found footage horror movie, kind of just keeping up with the theme here. We always just try to have like any found footage we find in our collection just because it's kind of like our thing we really fuck with. This is already on the radar. This is a very popular movie. However, one thing that makes it stand out to me is that Huck Butko is one of the like executive producers and he has a segment in Sharing Your Place in Hell, which is like a weird like pseudo mixtape kind of thing, which by the way, I am searching for that movie. I want to buy it so badly and own it. So if you have a copy you're willing to part with, you don't like make me a bootleg, you know somebody, you know where you can find it, I'll fucking pay you to send it to me. I want it so bad. But so Huck Bucko, he has like a segment in Ensuring Your Place in Hell, which is like I said, a pseudo mixtape of just weird shit. Like it has grave robbing for morons or dummies. I can never remember if what they say if it's for morons or dummies is on there, uh, which you can find here on YouTube. You can find each segment on YouTube, but like I said, I'm a collector. It's about collecting things. So it has that on there. It has a, uh, I always forget what the other one's called, where it's like some dudes like fucking shit up in like a, in a morgue. Uh, it closes out with exploding varmints, which is exactly what it sounds like. But then in the middle there, there is a segment from Huck Bucko, which is, which is called Cooking with Huck Bucko, which you can find the full thing on YouTube and Vimeo, which is just him basically found footage style video diary-esque. Talking about all the people that have like wronged him, that he's pissed off at, his family and shit. And then basically he cooks the meals. You watch the preparation. A bunch of fucked up shit. Like he gets people like pee and stuff, HCV positive people, like bloodletting into the food. And then you then watch him bring the food to his family members and them eating it. So just for that little reason that he made that weird ass short film, I'm curious about his other movies. And last but not least, we have a movie I actually love. I consider this maybe one of my comfort movies and that is Houses October Built. It's honestly a very okay movie, like above average. I just love it. Um, it has really good like Halloween vibes, Halloween scenery, just about some folks who are traveling to go to the most extreme haunted houses they can find and documenting it. It's a uh, found footage, Halloween, super fun. And honestly, this movie's really fucking funny too. Whether that's intentional, who knows, but it makes me laugh and it's just like, fun. I don't know, I just really love haunted houses. So this is an obvious choice for me. And weirdly enough, I don't own it, so I figured, eh, fuck it, might as well grab it right now. All right, and then with that being said, that concludes my little haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, I have all my socials down at the bottom. With that all wrapping up, uh, let me know, do you guys have cool stuff in your cities and things like that? Since, like I said, Eugene doesn't have anything. We don't have any movie stores whatsoever. We just have... FYE that's like a Funko Pop store and then there's a couple of like record stores that have really small limited movie sections but nothing in terms of what's like in other places like the FYE in Salem. I didn't quite pick up as much as I was expecting just because some of the FYEs we went to were a bust and then Half Price Books. They had a pretty good selection but it was mostly stuff I already had so I wasn't really trying to buy you know another copy and I found about Scarecrow video like once we were like it was too late to go. I'll be coming with my next movie review pretty soon. I've just been really busy lately like I we just made this trip to Seattle for a show. I went to go see Tyler the Creator like the week before and then you know how it goes taking time off catching up with work all your other obligations. I've been fucking busy and also like just wanting to like melt my brain watch youtube videos instead of movies but next video soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time